Aaud Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim In the previous lecture we have discussed what is respiration Now today we will take up the types of respiration Respiration may take place in the presence or absence of oxygen Accordingly this respiration is of two types that is aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration Aerobic respiration That type of respiration which takes place in the presence of oxygen is called uh, aerobic respiration any the respiration which takes me in the presence of oxygen is called aerobic respiration it involves complete breakdown of complex or oxidation of food molecules food molecules into carbon dioxide and water with the release of large amount of energy amount of energy and in this type of respiration that is aerobic respiration it brings about the complete breakdown of oxygen a complete breakdown or oxidation of food molecules that is carbohydrates proteins lipids etc into carbon dioxide and water and with the release of large amount of energy it involves the complete breakdown of presence of oxygen makes the complete breakdown of food molecules into carbon dioxide and water and large amount of energy is released this type of respiration that is aerobic respiration it is the characteristic of most organisms most organisms that is plants animals and other living organisms they show this type of respiration that is aerobic respiration any in, in these living organisms respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen now anaerobic respiration n means without and that type of respiration which takes place in the absence of oxygen it is called uh, anaerobic respiration and it involves incomplete breakdown of food molecules with a small amount of energy with the release of small amount of energy so amount of energy is released in this process while as in case of aerobic respiration large amount of energy is released because it involves complete breakdown of the food molecules into simpler inorganic substances that is carbon dioxide and, and water but here incomplete breakdown of the food molecules takes place with the result large uh, with the result small amount of energy is released for example we have seen c6h2lo6 that is glucose in case of yeast it involves the breakdown of glucose into ethyl alcohol that is c2h5oh ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide with a small amount of energy that is 80 kilo calorie 28 kilo calories of energy while as in case of arabic respiration about 686 686 kilo calories of energy are, are released 36 kilo calories of energy are released which is the result of the production of about 36 atp molecules in arabic respiration 36 atp molecules are produced but in anaerobic respiration only two atp molecules are produced two atp molecules are produced and we get only 28 kilo calories of energy per glucose molecule uh, per uh, molecule glucose molecule while as in case of aerobic respiration we get a 686 kilo calories of energy per glucose per the oxidation of glucose molecule similarly in skeletal cells in human skeletal cells anaerobic respiration takes place here this glucose it is broken down into lactic acid ch3 ch oh co oh 
that is called a lactic acid and only two ATP molecules are produced. We also call it as lactic acid fermentation and uh, this uh, which takes place in yeast it is called ethyl alcohol this fermentation also and in here only this uh, glucose gets incomplete broken down and produce lactic acid and two ATP molecules with a small amount of energy that is equal to only two ATP molecules this is the these are the types of this uh, respiration now we will take up another topic that is respiratory substrates respiratory substrates or substances in respiration many types of high energy compounds are broken that is oxidized to real energy rocaiot to cellular work and if we see in respiration many high energy compounds are broken down that is oxidized to yield energy required for various cellular activities such substances such substances which are required which are broken down which are oxidized during respiration to yield energy they are called respiratory substrates they are called respiratory substrates any the substances or organic compounds required to oxidize to broke down for the release of energy for performing various cellular activities in an organism they are called respiratory substrates and these respiratory substrates may include carbohydrates proteins proteins lipids and organic acids organic acids generally these uh, respiratory substrates are of four 